So, how long have you been here? <laughs> Spino's Yellow Belly 100% Heck Clown. What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great great day. Um, as you can see on the title man, guess who's here? Finally here, Jesse. We are gonna get to the bottom of this so you guys can see what the hell's been going on with that guy. Because um, again, I don't think he's a part of the team anymore. I mean, he's always gonna be family, but he is over there um, in the snake room. We're gonna put him on blast and let you guys know what's been going on. But look, as you guys can see, all the crazy stuff is completely clean in here now, man. I mean, T and I have been trying to do our best, but man, with all the stuff we have, you know, just on our on our hands has been crazy. But you know, Jesse came in, and now uh, guys, this particular python right here, do you see that humongous bolt right there? Dude, we fed her a pig for the first time. I actually had uploaded that video on my Spanish video, on my Spanish vlog, but I am gonna have my editor grab a couple of pieces on there and throw it on there for you guys. Um, the video kind of cuts up towards the end of it, but you guys kind of get the idea. You know, the pig is, you know, pretty nice sized pig, like a large, large rat, but man, it was freaking epic. But yeah, let's get to the bottom of this, guys, and then we'll get some crazy stuff. All right, let's get to this. Man, what a beautiful day. You guys know I have a really cool meeting today with actually one of the guy that owns like 27 McDonald's. I hope it goes pretty good, man. It's gonna be some kind of like reptile related type thing, but um, oh snap, what is that? It's pretty cool. All right. For you. Come in here. Well, well, come in, turtle. Come in, turtle. Sorry, I had to adjust the camera lens. It's gonna come in, turtle. <laughs> By the way, guys, do that right now. Hold on. Before we get to that guy, right now, and I'm gonna call Tina right now. Okay, she was calling me a bad word. A you know what the bad, bad word? One, it starts it with true. an A. Okay, so, big dog. Don't act like you don't see us in here. So, how, what's the last time you've been here? <laughs> a little over a month? Dad, it's been what, a month and a half? Month and a half. So a lot of people keep on messaging us, asking us, hey, what the problem is? You know, why is Jesse here no more? Did we fire him? Just so you guys know, we did not fire him. Jesse actually left on his own just out of nowhere. Yeah, no two week notice or anything. Nothing. <laughs> but he came here because he felt bad for me because he saw a story that we were kind of, you know, behind on stuff. And, you know, he came in to help out a little bit. But, uh, you want, here. you want to tell everyone what the deal is? <laughs> you know, I, I stutter when you put the camera on me. Okay. Okay, look, I'm going to tell you the truth. Um, so, Jesse, you know, has been with us for, you know, since we started this, you know, three years ago, four years. Actually, you started, th like, a, after a year that we're in. Um, and then Jesse, you know, uh, you know, we always talk, we always tell him, like, hey, man, you know, Jesse always wants to make a couple little extra, you know, side hustles, you know, because I was a little kid, I've always, you know, been doing something, man. So yeah, he's been like this since he was little. So it's not something when you guys see him. Oh, look! What he, he's been like this since. I'm uh, yeah. So that was like I, I mean, mean, he would buy candy, sell it to me. I mean, anything. Like, <laughs> yeah, he, he I would, would do some crazy stuff. He, he would do it all the time. So a while ago, Jesse, if you guys don't know, Jesse actually, you know, he used to do concrete for the longest time. I, you know, guys told you guys a story. You know, I went behind my my dad's back and I started a concrete company at the age of 21. You know, and I ran it for a little bit until I, you know, the recession came and I didn't know yeah, what no. saving money was. And I lost everything. I lost my house. I lost you my truck. everything out, everything. And, and the boat. Yep. Don't forget the boat. And we lost the boat. And, and you're and, eating a couple little soups for like yeah. a month. And then we had to move in with Tina's uncle in one room with two kids. But you're not going to believe that though. But you're yeah. not going to believe that. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> so, you know, Jesse was actually one of the, uh, one of like the most popular finishers out here in the city. So, you know, after going back and forth with Jesse over and over, we are doing the man. And Jesse decided to go get his license, start his concrete company. And dude, it freaking blew up, man. He's actually came out of here. It's like, you know, he has a couple of jobs already on the side right now. And he comes over here to help us out with do this now. So, I mean, Jesse, are you going to be here part time now? Or are you going to, you know. Well, I'm going to be here as much as you need me still. Because I always. Bro, that's a. My man here. That's a lot, bro. Cause last week you weren't there. The other week you weren't there. But yeah, I got busy. Sorry, yeah, bro. No, but you know what? Like he's making a lot more money doing you know other things, you know, and something that he's actually been really good at and passionate about. And I mean, be honest, Big Doug, who pays you more, yourself or do I, did I pay you more? Uh, myself. <laughs> you know that's what it is. You know, I mean, and I can't be mad at my brother. I mean, seeing him, you know, work his butt off with us, you know, just doing a lot of things over here. Now seeing him, you know. Make you know quite a bit of ch uh, you know changes. You know it's it's really awesome. I love seeing all everyone you know succeed. But yeah, big shout out to Jesse, man. Uh, you know he's doing the concrete. He's he has his own business going on. He has his own employees now. I mean, damn, bro, you're a boss now, big My hands are dirty, bro. Yeah. 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 I was gonna tell him for a bro. second half. Even, he does. He even Ace yelled at me, Uncle Jesse, your hands, your gloves are dirty. <laughs> yeah. So. But yeah, guys, that's what it is right there. But real quick, so I just wanted to throw that out there. 
But guys, oh my goodness, man, we are shipping out some crazy snakes. And when I say we, I have nothing to do with that. That's Tina, because she's doing all the shipping. Um, so this right here, I need you guys to do me a big, big favor. I need you guys to go check out um, Derek's Reptiles. I actually did an interview with him. He is actually, and I could post this video because it's already going to be Monday. He's actually interviewing a lot of big dogs. He's had Brian Cusco. He had uh, uh, Ozzy Boyd. He had me. I believe he has Justin Cabell today at 3 o'clock. But um, I am sending him this snake right here. Again, he's going to have this tomorrow. But right here, guys, we have a spot nose, red, sorry, spot nose, yellow belly, 100% heck clown. Look at this right here, man. This guy is beautiful, man. So, yeah, go check out Derek's Reptiles, man. He has a lot of cool stuff in here. Not in here, but like in his page. And then next, dude, so this goes way, way back. Um, I had a really good friend when I was a personal trainer. I had a uh, client named Becky that actually became like my therapist, like my best friend. I'm actually going to Kenya with her in October, October, November, November for two weeks. Um, she actually was a big part of my life, you know, like, like it's funny because I used to train her at the time, but realistic what she didn't know is I was actually picking her brain. She's a very, very smart, you know, friend of mine. And uh, she actually helped me out with a lot of things. And yesterday uh, she had to text me. She's like, hey, you know, um, uh, my niece is actually a big fan of yours. You know, we got to, you know, talk and stuff like that. So we're actually sending her niece out, Kennedy, a crazy powerhouse snake, man. And this is what she's getting. So right here we have a pastel spot nose, yellow belly, 100% head clown. Look how beautiful this thing is. Wow, so amazing, man. But yeah, we're so excited, man. Kennedy, uh, hopefully I get your Instagram by this time. That we could put your information on in the description down below. You get some follows, girl. You know you want the followers. No, I'm just playing. But guys, yeah, I mean, again, uh, on our, if you guys are uh, part of the Patreon uh, page, please go check it out. The next, the next interview that we're doing is with my tax guy. That's gonna be another really good video that we're gonna put out there for you guys. And again, I'm not the one talking about it. We have some professionals that do this for a living talking about it. And yeah, we're gonna do some other crazy, crazy stuff. I'm actually gonna be delivering some snakes out to the Face Clan because they're actually purchasing some snakes. And dude, this, I mean, this whole freaking reptile industry is going crazy, man. And hopefully you know we could get jesse back over here permanently no not really we want jesse <laughs> to make more money but yeah guys so i'm gonna leave it at this um let's put that retick video on right now and you know kind of give life a nice little slow glimpse and then we're gonna peace out from there so uh check this out How crazy was that, man? Hopefully this thing gets really, really big, but I heard it's like, now you have to just feed a pig every other two weeks instead of like every week. Um, again, big shout out to El Segunda uh, for hooking it up with those puercos. Um, as always, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.